everyone. Sorry, I'm having a fight with my cat here who keeps trying to destroy all my yoga stuff. Don't you do that, cat. Anyway, hi. Hi, everyone. Welcome. If you were at Gen Con, welcome home. <laughs> welcome back. That's where I was. Uh, yeah. So today, what we're going to do <clears throat> is a little bit of um, yoga recoup. Yoga? Gen Con recoup is what I meant to say. Um, so whenever you're walking around so much like that, it uh, tightens your hamstrings and your hips. Um, it can be kind of hard on them, actually. So we're just going to open some of that up. Uh, so this is good anytime you have been walking a lot. I mean, this is good in general, but um, but yeah, especially all that walking, that'll that'll get you. It's good for you, but it also um, can really tighten things up. So that's not amazing. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and get started if anybody has any questions. Oh, and real quick, this here... Uh, <clears throat> this is the amount that a private client costs uh, for an hour that I teach. So um, if you feel that you can donate, it is very appreciated. It does help me continue to bring yoga to you. Um, and if you can't, I totally understand sometimes you can't. Uh, also just sharing the word is very beneficial. Um, but yeah, any little thing, even if it's a dollar, even if it's 50 cents, it all really adds up and it, it makes a huge difference uh, to help me continue to keep bringing this. So think of it as a donation-based class, like you see those out in the world. Um, those basically you go to them, you donate what you can is the, is the thing. If you can, if you can't, you can donate for others type thing. So that's sort of the thought process of this yoga stream. Um, but yeah, we'll go. No, stop destroying my things. Cat, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. No. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to get started. Let me start some music. Let's do this. Turn this down a touch. Am I on the right place? Yes. Okie dokie. So, let me move over here. Come over here, cat. She loves the straw. I don't know what that's about. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. It's over there. <laughs> Maybe that will work. Okay, hang on. This music is too intense. Okay, let's try this instead. So, go ahead and start seated. Or you can start on your back if you want. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. And just start by finding the breath. Just to see where it is today. Don't feel like you need to change it. Just notice. We just want to become aware of where the body is. Where the breath is. Then let's find some deep breaths. We'll inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Letting the exhales be an audible sigh. Switch the breath to in and out through the nose, making these very dramatic breaths with our music here. <laughs> a moment to scan through the body move from the head to the toes see how you're feeling physically today as well noticing parts of the body that are comfortable and uncomfortable and don't feel like you need to change them we just want to notice we just want to become aware of what is And then if you're on your back, go ahead and come up to an easy seated pose. Just cross legs like I have. And then once here, let's inhale both arms up. 
We'll bring hands together, exhaling hands to the heart. And let's just continue a few of these. You can always go at your own pace. You don't have to go at mine. Just go with the breath. Thank you, Bondo. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Let's find one more of these. And then on the next inhale, we're going to take just one arm up, stretching through the side of the body. The other hand can come to the mat. We'll exhale this arm down. We'll inhale the other arm. And just continuing to switch from side to side a few times. Find one more on both sides. And then after the last one, let's swing feet around. We're gonna come to all fours. Always feel free to add some cushion under the knees. I have this little, <clears throat> it's a meditation like pad, I think, uh, that I use. You could use a blanket, you can use absolutely anything. And now it has all these little holes in it from a certain cat. Anyway, all right, <clears throat> so all fours, wrists under, shoulders, knees under, hips. And we're gonna flow through cat cow. So start with cat on the exhale, round through the spine. We'll inhale cow, curving through the spine. Good, and just continuing with the breath, always going from the tailbone to the head. <clears throat> Whenever your hands are on the mat, make sure fingers are spread wide. We're pressing out into the fingertips. That takes pressure off of the wrists. Or if you need to take more pressure off, you can use fists for wrists. Let's find one more through both here. And then let's come back to a neutral spine and we're gonna switch to spinal balance. So for that, <clears throat> on an inhale, we'll take the right arm and the left leg out in line with the spine. We're reaching from heel to fingertips. We'll exhale, release, and we'll switch sides, left arm, right leg, same thing. Good, just continuing side to side with the breath. One more on both sides. Then after the last one, let's come back to child's pose. So we'll sit back on our heels, forehead to the mat. And just take a moment here. You can rock side to side and massage the hips if you'd like. And then on our next inhale, let's move through some push-ups. So we'll come forward to kneeling plank, shoulders stack over wrists, hips past knees, shift the body weight forward a little bit more, bend elbows to kneeling crocodile, and then we'll inhale pushing back to kneeling plank and exhale child's pose. So again, inhaling kneeling plank, shift forward a bit, exhale kneeling crocodile, inhale back to kneeling plank, exhale child's pose. Good, just continuing with the breath a few more times.
Hi, T-Boys. Welcome. We just started. You're not too late. Let's find one more of these. And then on the next inhale, it's lift to down dog. So curl the toes under, lift the tailbone to the highest point. And we'll alternate heel press. We're pressing down on one heel, bending the other knee, switching back and forth, and just going with the breath. And then on our next inhale, <clears throat> we're going to sweep the right leg straight up and back, and we're going to flow through core plank. So exhale, draw the right knee in towards the chest, shifting shoulders forward over the wrist. Inhale, kick back, and again, exhale forward. Good, and just at your own pace. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Bondo, for the subscription. You are now upgraded. But in a good way, not in a bad way, like Cybermen. Good, let's meet in our next core plank. We're gonna lift a little higher, and we're just gonna step through or help the leg through to a lunge. We're gonna drop this back knee down. Feel free to add cushion underneath it into a kneeling lunge. And then I'm gonna use blocks because it's helpful for my back, but you can have hands on the mat <clears throat> or hands on anything else you have that will support you. So it could be a chair, it could be anything in front of you. Make sure the front knee stacks on top of the front ankle. And when you're ready, we're going to move through this lunge. So on an inhale, we'll take hips back, straightening out the front leg a bit. Exhale forward. Okay, and just go with the breath. Does anyone else have sore shoulders from carrying a backpack around? <laughs> I notice the, my left arm or my left shoulder was a bit sore. I guess from that? I don't know. Good, let's find one more of these. And we'll meet back at our lunge. And here at this lunge, let's bring the right hand to the right thigh and just roll through this right shoulder. Let's go ahead and drop this right hand back down <clears throat> and we're going to step back to down dog. Alternate heel press just a few times here. Really trying to warm up these hamstrings today. I can definitely feel tight calves. That's what I have. All right, let's flow a few times through core plank on the other side. So sweeping the left leg straight up and back. Exhale, draw the knee in towards the chest, shifting shoulders forward over the wrists. Inhale, kick back. And just go with the breath. Good, let's meet in our next core plank, lifting higher. Go ahead and step through, or help the leg through, and then drop the back knee. <clears throat> and again, make sure the front knee stacks on top of the front ankle. Find hands on the mat or wherever feels comfortable for you. And then when you're ready, we'll move through this lunge. So inhale, take the hips back, and we'll exhale them forward. And just with the breath.
Got us find one more. And let's meet back at our lunge. Once here, let's bring the left hand to the left thigh and roll through that shoulder, just like we did on the other side. Let's go ahead and release the left hand down, and this time we're going to step forward to forward fold. And then on an inhale, it's reverse swan dive, so we'll come all the way up, and knees hinge from the hips as you come up, sweep arms up, and let's flow through chair a few times. So on an exhale, we'll sit back, weight into the heels and hips, arms sweep forward, we'll inhale back up, and just continue at your own pace. Let's do one more of these. <clears throat> and then let's exhale <clears throat> to mountain. And let's step back with one foot or the other just to open to the long edge of the mat so we can have this nice wingspan base on the feet. Uh, we're gonna warm up the hips a little bit so make sure toes are turned out a bit, heels are tucked in. We'll inhale arms up and we'll find a moon flower. So exhale, come down to a squat, drawing elbows in towards the spine and ribs. We'll inhale back up and just going with the breath. Let's do one more. Uh, this will be the one more. <laughs> Good. And then let's exhale hands down to the heart and let's step back to the top of the mat. We're going to switch to a sun salutation. So go ahead and inhale both arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Bend knees, hinge from the hips, come all the way down to the mat. Inhale, lift halfway to monkey. So hands on the mat or the shins, torso is just coming about halfway up. Exhale, step back to child's pose. Or if you know the full version of the flow and want to do it now, you can. Otherwise, follow me through this kneeling version. So on an inhale, we'll come forward to kneeling plank, just like earlier. Shift forward, exhale, kneeling crocodile. Then release hips and belly to the mat. Just use the core to lift the shoulders into low cobra. And then exhale, lead with the hips, keeping the back flat as you come back to child's pose. Then we'll step to the tops of our mats to forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Exhale, chair. Good, inhaling back up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, monkey, lift halfway. Exhale, option for down dog or child's pose. So down dog's the full version, but feel free to do the previous one if you would like. So next inhale, we'll come forward to plank. That can be on or off the knees. If you're in full, shift forward onto the toes. Exhale, crocodile, on or off the knees. And then inhale, pull the belly button through, flip over the feet for up dog or low cobra. Exhale, come back over the toes to down dog or child's pose. And then you can hop or step or walk to the top of the mat, forward fold. On the inhale, we'll reverse swan dive. We'll exhale, chair. Good, let's do one more. We'll inhale back up. Swan dive down. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, down dog or child's pose, your choice. Inhale to a plank. Shift forward, exhale to a crocodile. Shift forward, inhale, up dog or low cobra. And exhale back to down dog or child's pose. And then we can hop, step, or walk to the top of the mat. I'll show you what the hop looks like. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Exhale, chair. Good, let's inhale back up. Let's exhale back to chair, we'll hold the pose. Good, so arms can be out, they can be at the heart. 
but they could be on the thighs for a supported chair, your choice. But just find some deep breaths here. Turn back this way. Keep holding chair. It switches music. Next inhale, step back with the right foot for warrior one, right from chair. So warrior one, the back foot's at about a 45 degree angle, hips are turning inward, front knee is bent. We're gonna bring arms out in front, reaching out through the fingertips, rotating palms towards the sky a bit. And we'll bring arms up to either side of the ears and we're holding here. And so pressing down into both feet, I'll turn this way too so you can see it. And then if you're protecting shoulders, you can always hold cactus arms hands on hips, excuse me, or the heart. Good, but you'll probably notice here that that calf is getting a bit of a stretch. And this is also opening up this right hip flexor, which is good. Find one more deep breath. On the exhale, we're gonna float arms to shoulder height. We're gonna turn the hips open to the long edge of the mat and find warrior two. So the back foot's about parallel to the short edge. Uh, left knee, left toes stay pointed forward and the feet are in line. Left knee is bent and we're gazing over these left fingertips. Good, you can also hold cactus arms, hands on hips or at the heart, always options. Good, then from here, we're gonna do this move to the mat that I think is fun, so pinwheel to the mat. So we're picking, we're bringing the back hand over the head, we're picking up the back heel, and we're swan diving down to a lunge. We're just gonna step back to down dog. Take a moment here to breathe into the legs and back. And then let's move through a vinyasa so you can start in child's pose or down dog. We'll inhale forward to full or kneeling plank. Shift forward, exhale, full or kneeling crocodile. Shift forward, inhale, up dog or low cobra. And exhale back to down dog or child's pose. Good, then once here, let's walk or step or hop to the top of the mat. On the inhale, reverse swan dive. Exhale, chair. We'll hold here for a few deep breaths. Arms out at the heart or on the thighs, your choice. And then we'll make this one shorter. So on an inhale, step back to the left foot for warrior one. So again, the back foot is at about a 45 degree angle. Hips are turning forward. So there's a bit of a twist in the hip. So make sure you're turning in. Front knee is bent. This time we're gonna take arms behind us for chest expansion. So clasp those hands and try and bring the palms together as much as possible if you clasp. You can also hold an imaginary beach ball or you can hold any object between the hands. Good, but we're pressing down. I'm gonna turn this way. We're pressing down into both feet reaching through the top of the head, still looking for that stretch in that back calf, in this hip flexor, straight from the front leg. And then we've added a stretch in the chest and shoulders. One more deep breath. On the exhale, to release the chest expansion, we'll switch to warrior two on this side to turn the hips open. Uh, readjust the back foot so it's about parallel to the short edge of the mat. Right knee, right toes stay pointed forward. Right knee is bent. This time for the arms, we're gonna bring them out in front, cross one over the other and find a hug across the chest or wrap or stack the forearms for eagle arms. So it's your choice. We're looking for the stretch between the shoulder blades. We're still pressing down into both feet. This pose feels like it's about to take off. Good. 
continue to hold this pose. But let's switch the arms. So bring the arms out, cross the other arm on top. Same thing. Hug or wrap or stack. Continue to hold. Now we've gone completely the other direction. So let's find one more deep breath. On an exhale, let's release the arms out. We're gonna pinwheel to the mat. So back hand over the head, peel the back heel off the mat, come down to the lunge. And we'll go ahead and step back to down dog. Go ahead and let's hold here for just a few deep breaths. Continue to hold, breathe into the legs. And let's move through a vinyasa. So again, down dog or child's pose, inhale to a plank. Shift forward, exhale, crocodile. Shift forward, inhale, up dog or low cobra. And then exhale back, down dog. Good, from here, let's sweep the left leg straight up and back. On an exhale, draw the left knee in towards the chest. Let's hold core plank for a few deep breaths. So bring shoulder blades, or bring shoulders rather, over the wrists. Find two more deep breaths. Good, then we'll lift higher and we're just gonna step through to a lunge. Good, and then once here, let's make this a kneeling lunge. So go ahead and drop the back knee down. Feel free to add cushion. And we're gonna make, did I say twisting lunge? I don't know if I did already. We're gonna make this a twisting lunge. So we want the right hand directly underneath the right shoulder, left hand to the left thigh. Find a long spine before you twist. And then when you're ready, belly goes first to the left, head last. You can sweep the left hand up. You could keep that left hand on the thigh. You could also pick up the back knee and make this a runner's lunge if you prefer. But just find those deep breaths here, continuing to reach through the top of the head. This one's also good because when you're down in these kneeling lunges, you kind of stretch that hip flexor again, that right hip flexor. Find one more deep breath. Exhale, go ahead and turn back to center. And from here, we're gonna pick up the back knee and we're gonna find triangles. So we're gonna readjust the back foot for a warrior two foot. So that means it's turning about parallel to the short edge of the mat. I'm gonna turn around so I'm, you're not seeing my back. And then we're gonna straighten out this left leg without locking the knee. Walk hands up the leg as you do so you have room for it to straighten. Left hand anywhere on this left leg except for the knee. Spine is nice and long. And then inhale, sweep the right hand to the sky. And we'll hold here. So we're looking for the stretch in this inner left thigh. We're pressing into the back right foot. Good, let's add a stretch over the right side. So we're gonna take the right arm over the ear, rotating the palm inward to add a stretch through that right side of the body. If you feel like that right shoulder is dropping forward, turn your gaze under the right arm towards the sky. Oh, right zero, thank you for the follow. I didn't hear it, I don't know why it didn't pop up. Good, next inhale, take the right arm back up. And then from here, we're gonna bend this left knee, slowly turn the torso back to face the mat, picking up the back heel, finding the lunge. Good, we're gonna switch to pyramid. So for this, step in with the back foot so the back foot is flat with toes completely forward. And then what we wanna do is straighten out this front leg. So you may need to walk hands up the leg to get it to straighten and then you can readjust as you need. And then we wanna find a nice straight spine. So you can have hands on this front thigh. If you're not feeling the stretch in this front hamstring here, you can walk hands down to the shin. You can walk hands to something else. If you have blocks, you can use blocks or you could use a chair, something in front of you. You could also go all the way to the mat, but just know that the goal of this pose is not the floor, it's just the stretch. Good, and then we wanna to try to keep hips at the same height. So one is not turning open, that would be the right hip that usually wants to turn open. Try to avoid that. And just breathe into that leg.
let us find one more deep breath. And the exhale, let's bend this left knee, walk hands to the mat if they're anywhere else, and then step back to down dog. Take a moment, breathe into the both legs here, into the back. And then let's move through another vinyasa. Uh, down dog or child's pose, inhale to a plank. Shift forward, exhale to a crocodile. Shift forward, inhale, up dog or low cobra. And exhale back to down dog or child's pose. Good, next inhale, sweep the right leg straight up and back. Exhale, core plank, draw the knee in towards the chest. Shift shoulders forward over the wrists, hold here for a few deep breaths. Two more deep breaths. Good, then we'll lift a little higher, we'll make room, we'll step through to the lunge. Make it a kneeling lunge, drop that back knee down. Good, make sure the front knee stacks on top of the front ankle, we'll find our twisting lunge. So left wrist directly underneath the left shoulder, right hand to the right thigh, long spine before you twist. When you're ready, belly first to the right, head last. Right arm can sweep up, can stay on the thigh. You can pick up the back knee. Find the variation that feels best for you today. Find two more deep breaths. On that second exhale, go ahead and turn back to center and we'll pick up the back knee and we're going to readjust for triangle. So again, turn the back foot so it's about parallel to the short edge of the mat. I'm going to turn around this way. Then we'll straighten out the right leg without locking the knee. Find where this right hand wants to go. Make sure the spine is straight. And then when you're ready, sweep the left hand to the sky, stacking shoulders. And we're looking for the stretch in this inner right thigh, pressing into the left foot. And let's take the left arm over the head and we'll add that stretch through the left side. Rotate the palm inward. And just find those deep breaths here. Good, next inhale, bring the left arm back to the sky. Bend this right knee and we'll gently turn the torso to face the mat, find our lunge, and we'll switch for pyramid. So again, we're stepping in with the back foot, so the back foot is flat, both toes are forward. And we wanna straighten out this right leg without locking the knee, so you might need to walk your hands up the leg to do that. And then find a nice straight spine, make sure both hips are forward. You can hinge forward from the hips, so start with hands on the thigh. If you're not feeling the stretch here, come down to the shin blocks if you have them or something else or you can come all the way to the mat but try and keep the spine straight so remember your goal is not to get to the mat your goal is just to stretch in that front hamstring and then continue to reach through the top of the head about you guys but my hamstrings are definitely tight but let's find one more deep breath on the exhale let's bend the right knee walk hands to the mat go ahead and step back to down dog Take a moment here. And then let's move through one more vinyasa. We'll inhale forward to full or kneeling plank. Shift forward, exhale, full or kneeling crocodile. Shift forward, inhale, up dog or low cobra. And exhale back to down dog or child's pose. 
Good, let's go ahead and walk, step, or hop to the top of the mat. Come back to forward fold. And then on the next inhale, we'll reverse swan dive. Let's exhale, hands to the heart. Good, and we're gonna switch to a standing quad stretch. So whenever you're ready, bring weight and balance to the left leg. We'll bend the right knee, taking the right foot back towards the glute. Reach back with the right hand for the ankle or hook something around the ankle and hold on to that. Good, flex the foot so the toes point towards the mat. And then the left hand could be to the side or could be to your hip rather, out to the side or to the sky. We're pressing the ankle into the hand as if we're trying to press the foot away from the body. Make sure all the joints stay in line. So that's knee, ankle, and hip. That's where your stretch is gonna be. It's also going to protect those joints. And focus on the breath. Find one more deep breath. The exhale, go ahead and release that leg. Shake them out if you'd like. And we'll switch sides. So same thing on the other side. Weight and balance to the right foot. Bend the left knee. Reach back with the left hand to the ankle. Right hand to the hip, out to the side or to the sky. Flex the foot. Focus on pressing the ankle into the hand. Good. Make sure all the joints stay in line. Breathe deep. Also for balance poses, use a wall if you need to. Or a chair. Let's find one more deep breath. Exhale, release that leg. <laughs> Shake it out if you'd like. Good, and then let's inhale both arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Come down to forward fold. Take a moment here. You can shake, you can nod the head, just to release the neck and shoulders. You can cross the arms, you can wrap them around the legs. Then from here, let's step back to all fours. And let's continue back to child's pose. And in this child's pose, we're gonna find a prayer position over the head. So bring the palms together, bend the elbows so fingertips point towards the sky, and we'll hold here. We're just adding a stretch to the upper arm. Next, inhale. Let's come back to all fours. Let's go ahead and sink hips to one side. Let's swing the legs around to seated staff. And then uh, once here, we'll stretch the hamstrings. So let's bend the right knee. We're gonna let the right knee fall open, bringing the right foot into the left thigh as high as feels comfortable for you. Keep the left foot flexed, find a nice long spine. And when you're ready on an exhale, we'll just hinge from the hips, walking hands forward, stopping when the spine begins to round, and we'll hold here. This is one of my favorite hamstring stretches, probably the one that I feel like I can really get into the hamstring the best.
find one more deep breath. On the exhale, go ahead and come back up and we're just gonna switch sides. So we'll draw the right knee up, go ahead and extend the leg out first and then bend the left knee, placing the foot flat, let the left knee fall open. Bring the left foot into the right thigh. Right foot is flexed, find a nice long spine. And whenever you're ready, we'll hinge forward from the hips, walking hands down the leg. Stop when the spine begins to round. Find one more deep breath. And on the exhale, let's go ahead and come back up. Draw the left knee back up. Let's place both feet flat. And let's go ahead and move to our backs. So let me move all my things. And when you're ready, place both hands behind one leg. Use that leverage to come all the way back to the mat. And then we're gonna find a bridge. So Drop feet to the mat, find ankles and knees in line with the hip sockets. Hands are beside our hips. Then on an inhale, we'll lift the hips up as high as feels comfortable and we'll hold here, squeezing the inner thigh a little bit to keep knees in line with the hip sockets. Focus on those deep breaths. Find one more deep breath. And on the exhale, let's go ahead and roll all the way back to the mat. And then let's meet in knees to chest. We'll draw both knees in. Hands are behind the knee joint on the thigh. You can rock side to side if you want, or you can just hold the pose here and let the back release. And then let's take legs to the sky for legs up the wall. So ankles are over hips. Go ahead and flex the feet. We're gonna make this a straddle. So we're gonna let the legs fall open so we can stretch the hips. You can use hands to help support the thighs if you'd like. Good, and this pose is nice. It might make you feel silly, but it's helpful because you're essentially letting gravity stretch the legs here. So it's pretty passive. This sounds like a knockoff of Claire de Lune, if I've ever heard one. Good, next inhale, let's bring the legs back together. Let's drop the right foot to the mat. We're gonna cross the left ankle over the right thigh and we'll find upside down pigeon. So if we're looking for the stretch in this left outer hip and glute. If you feel it here, go ahead and stay. If you don't, you can draw the right knee in towards the chest and clasp hands behind that right thigh. But try and keep the left knee open, keep the left foot flexed. Focus on the breath. Let's 
find one more deep breath here. And on the exhale, keep the legs crossed, but drop the right foot to the mat if it's lifted. Take arms to a T out from the shoulders, and then let both legs fall to the right into a twist, and you can turn your gaze to the left. Next exhale, let's come back to center. Let's switch sides, starting with pigeon. So draw the right leg up, cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Uh, and again, stay here if you're getting the stretch. If not, draw the left knee in towards the chest, clasp hands behind that left thigh, and breathe into that stretch in the hip. Wow, this side is really tight for me. <laughs> That's pretty typical though. Find one more deep breath. And on the exhale, let's release the left leg if it's lifted. Take arms out to a T. Let both legs fall to the left. And we can turn our gaze to the right. Next exhale, let's come back to center. And then once here, let the knees fall open, bring soles of the feet together into reclining butterfly. And we're gonna move into final relaxation here. So you don't have to hold this pose throughout it, but you can. You can always adjust to a different position. But close your eyes and turn your attention back to the breath. And also knowing that this is not about trying to find a perfectly peaceful, a perfectly quiet place, but it's just about being present with what is. And to do that, the mind needs something to focus on. So let it focus on the senses. Instead of closing anything out, open everything up. So you're listening to whatever you hear. Like for me, I can hear my air conditioner and the music and the clock. You can also focus on what you feel. So noticing the parts of the body that press into the mat, noticing the parts of the body that lift away from the mat. You might also notice the breath as it moves through the body. And then if you catch the mind wandering at any point, just bring it back the senses and to your surroundings.
And let's start to wiggle fingers and toes. Let's add wrists and ankles, rotating them around. And then stretch arms over the head and reach from fingers to toes. And then add the face, opening the eyes wide and the mouth sticking out the tongue, taking a deep exhale. And then let's roll on to one side. And we'll use hands to bring ourselves up to a seated position. And once here, let's find one more deep breath as we sweep arms to the sky. Exhaling hands back to the heart. And just taking one moment here to check back in after the practice. Thank you all for joining me this morning and sharing your practice today. Namaste.